Magadi Morimi, welcome to this edition of Magona Marima Academy of Crop Production. Today we are at the International Maize and Wheat Improvement Center, which is just north of Arari on the Missouri Road. And the International Maize and Wheat Improvement Center has as one of its objectives to find out how to improve the management of crop production. And in this particular situation, they are doing research on conservation agriculture and the benefits that that gives to farmers who grow crops like maize and soybeans and so on. And we're going to look at this experiment just now to see the effect of either annual plowing or leaving the residue on the surface without any soil disturbance. Now, conservation agriculture is a concept that's been around for quite a long time. And it's been promoted because it is of great benefit to crop production. It benefits because leaving residue on the surface of the soil helps to reduce the impact of the rain on, on breaking up the soil surface and causing erosion. The residue on the surface also helps to prevent evaporation of water from the soil. And so you conserve the water that you receive by rain in your soil, which of course will benefit the crop that you're growing. So from that little description, you can see that the basic principles of conservation agriculture are these. Number one, leaving residue on the soil surface. This residue can be the, from the previous crop, like maize, or you can bring that residue in from the felt, from grass, from leaves, from trees, or whatever. You can bring that into your field to put a residue on the surface. The second thing that is involved in conservation agriculture is minimal soil disturbance. So we would not want to see farmers plowing. We would rather leave that soil with as little disturbance as possible. At times you might have to do some tillage, but generally speaking we would do no tillage in our fields with conservation agriculture. The third thing is that we would use rotations. Monocropping maize from year to year is not good for the soil and it's not good for the crop and it leads to things like increases of diseases, increases of pests, and so rotation has the benefit of bringing up about different crops in your field so that for example legumes will provide nitrogen into the soil, the maize will provide good residue cover and having that rotation breaks the cycle of certain pests and diseases. The fourth aspect of conservation agriculture is to to manage our fields in a way that promotes the, the absorption of water into the soil and minimizes the runoff from the soil. So things like contours are very important. You want to see contours across the slope that channel the, the runoff water in a, in a good way and prevents erosion. We want to plant our crops across the slope so that the, the water that runs through the field is caught by the crops that are growing across the slope. We would like to see waterways and tree lines and good grass cover on, on, the, field, on, the, uh, on the land around the, the, the field. All these things are important for conservation agriculture. And so now we would like to look a little bit closer at the effect of conservation agriculture on the soil um, and see how leaving residue, minimizing tillage, really benefits the soil. So let's now look at a closer picture at some of the effects of conservation agriculture in the soil. So what you see here in this uh, picture is the two parts of this experiment at the International Maize and Wheat Improvement Center. On the side, on the closest, where you've got the bare soil, this little plot has been plowed annually for many years. And then just beyond it, where the residue is, there's been no soil disturbance and the residues have been left there year in and year out. And so what we'll do now is look at what the soil looks like uh, when we take a close-up of the soil. You'll see the effect of tillage or leaving residue on the surface 
on the soil condition. We are here in the, the plot which has been plowed annually or tilled annually for many years. And I just want to show you what effect that has had on the soil itself. So if we dig a little hole, you can see how easy it is to dig into it. And then if we take a fistful of soil, you can see how loose and how fine that soil is. It's, it just blows away. And if we had a heavy rainfall on here at the beginning of the season, this soil would be carried away by the water. So not only do we lose soil, but we lose water. And so less water will go into the soil, which means that there'll be less water for the crop because most of it or a lot of it will have gone away in runoff and be lost to you as the farmer. We are now in the conservation agriculture plot, right next door to the plot that has been plowed annually for many years. As you can see, there's a lovely cover of residue here. This is the maize residue from last year. And if we open it up, we can see that there's some residue from the year before. And so there's a lovely development of organic matter on the surface of the soil. Now if we dig into the soil, we can see this beautiful structure here. It's not loose like we saw in the plowed field. It's got lovely structure, the crumbs are there. It's not as fine and it is, it is really beautiful soil with, with increasing levels of organic matter. You can even see the roots from last year or the year before. And those root channels enable the water to penetrate into the soil as the rain comes. Now when the rain falls, you can imagine that a heavy rain, even a very heavy rainstorm, the water first lands on the residue, the impact is broken, and then it percolates into the soil. Because we have a good soil structure, the rain will go into the soil and there will be very little runoff. There will be no erosion on a, on a crop like this, on a field like this. So the benefit of this conservation agriculture is that the majority of your rain goes into your soil and remains on your farm, in your field, for use by your crop. And as we have such a good soil condition, it also enables the crop to grow well because the roots can go into a soil like this very easily. Whereas on a plowed field, the soil compacts very quickly. It, it it forms a seal on the surface and the rain will run off even faster. But on this field, we have perfect conditions for getting the best absorption of water into our soil. Now you can see this is a red soil. Not many parts of the country have red soil like this. Many farmers have sandy soil. So what would be my comment on sandy soil? Well, it's even more important to have conservation agriculture on sandy soils. Sandy soils are very erodible. Sandy soils have a low water holding capacity. And so if you have residues on a sandy soil, the benefits are as good or better than on a red soil. So that's it for this edition. We would like to really encourage you as farmers to consider conservation agriculture to make every effort to keep residues on your surface, on the surface of your soil, to minimize tillage, to do rotational cropping, and to improve the general conservation of your farm. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.